क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे ए 50 के जी होमोजीनियस स्मूथ स्फीयर दैट इज स्मूथ स्फीयर रेस्ट ऑन 30 डिग्री इंक्लाइन ए दैट इज इंक्लाइन ए एंड बियर दैट इज रेस्ट इट एंड बियर्स अगेंस्ट द स्मूथ वर्टिकल वॉल बी दैट इज स्मूथ वर्टिकल वॉल बी कैलकुलेट द कंटेक्ट फोर्सेस एट ए एंड बी सो आवर मोटो डिटरमाइन contact forces corresponding inclined a on the ball on the sphere and wall by and contact force by ball b on the sphere okay clear so how can be determined first of all it is clear what is what is our motto so, so first of all make free wide diagram of that ball that is sphere okay mg always work on downward so mg like that one mg is how much That is fifty. M is fifty, so fifty g. Okay. Now second one. Contact force by inclined plane always apply force like that one. That is n one. Okay. And that wall also apply corresponding to. And two, always perpendicular to the surface. That force always perpendicular to the surface. That force always perpendicular to the surface. Okay, that is ninety degree. Clear? Now, what about that angle? If you see very carefully, total angle ninety degree. That angle is. This one is thirty degree, so that is also thirty degree. Why? Because of that is this line and this line are parallel, and that line intersect. So that angle and that angle are same. If this one and this one is same, then what about at that angle? That is sixty degree. Why? Because because of total degree, total angle is ninety degree. This one is thirty, so that is sixty degree. So it means what about that angle? Sixty degree. Okay. The ball, the sphere is not moving. Okay, corresponding to question at rest. Okay, so you can say the net force on the sphere is zero. Means f sum of net force along x-axis and along y-axis zero. Okay, so component of so we got component of that force along x-axis and y-axis here n one. So n one cos sixty and here n one sine sixty. Okay, it means corresponding to that force is equal to that force and corresponding to that force this is equal to that force. Okay, so you can say that n two this is equal to n one cos sixty. And cos sixty is one by two, so n one by two. Okay, now n one sine sixty. This is equal to mg. This is equal to fifty g. And that one n one into root three by two. This is equal to fifty g. So n one is how much? Hundred g divided by root three. That value put here. Then we got n two. N two is how much? Fifty g divided by root three newton. So contact for contact forces by plane A on the sphere is how much? Hundred g by root three newton. And contact force applied by wall B on the sphere. That is n two is fifty g divided by root three n newton. Make it.